Gentlemen, here's Johnny. Johnny Carson wasn't just the host of The Tonight Show. Johnny Carson was the man that America said goodnight to for 30 years. And on my watch, Johnny decided that 30 years was a great time to take a bow and say thank you and good night. 30 years is enough. Now it's a good time to get out while you're still on top of your game plan. Johnny Carson retiring in the early 90s was the great moment where a huge chunk of the ice shelf breaks off. Something that has been there for centuries, for thousands of years, suddenly is no longer there. It's a tremendous part of history. And that's lovely to a major mark on, on an era like that. Johnny had told no one what he planned to do, and we weren't prepared. And that set off a game of musical chairs for who would get the throne and there only was one late night throne Hi, you guys. jay leno had been pretty much carson's regular substitute host when he went on vacation you know what's amazing now this is true only six months ago people were talking about donald trump as a presidential candidate right that's true now since then he's had an affair he's left his wife he's run up a debt of several million dollars so i guess he's going to be running as a democrat huh <laughs> Jay Leno wanted to essentially just continue doing a Johnny Carson type show. And David Letterman was the show immediately following Carson. And they had different styles. I'm what is your name? I'm going to ask you to turn the cameras off, please. Okay, we just wanted to drop off this this basket of fruit. Part of Dave's thing used to always be attacking authority. He liked that. Cut the cameras, please. He needed a corporate bad guy to go up against. I was oftentimes that target. I hear this, this Warren Littlefield guy whining all year long about not getting his name on the card last year. He's on that. So he's, oh, what about, look, what about me? Just put it on there. Me, I can be on there, couldn't I? It was always Letterman's dream to be the host of The Tonight Show. He idolized Johnny Carson, rightfully so. The big decision that's had the entertainment industry buzzing is due this week. That, of course, is the fate of NBC's late-night stars, Jay Leno and David Letterman. Most of us thought the person who deserved to get it was David Letterman. He didn't get it. Jay Leno got it. Leno, who earlier rode his motorcycle into a news conference hosted by NBC Entertainment President Warren Littlefield, still has a bruised ego about the way the network wavered in its support for him. When we found out that Leno was going to get to Tonight Show. We were all obviously depressed. We felt like we were being punished for making fun of them and not cooperating and not being as collaborative as we could have been. Uh, and we also felt like we were being disrespected because we did 11 years of great shows. Just how pissed off are you? <laughs> By all rights, David Letterman should have taken over for Johnny Carson. But his agent took a very, very aggressive stand. Um, we're going to really control all of late night. Um, it's going to cost you a fortune. And they put our backs to the wall. I can only tell you that it has been an honor and a privilege to come into your homes all these years and entertain you. And I hope when I find something that I want to do and I think you will like and come back, that you'll be as gracious and inviting me into your home as you have been. I bid you a very heartfelt good night. The Tonight Show, without Johnny Carson as the regular host, made its debut last night. Jay Leno emerged from behind the curtain, stepping into the big shoes that were filled for 30 years by Johnny. CBS came to us and made a very attractive offer. Here we go, number 10. Ed CBS Tales, CBS number 9. Letterman did place a call to Johnny Carson asking for his advice and johnny said if it was me i would leave and i think that advice was really the the linchpin letterman always took johnny's advice the late night wars are about to begin in earnest on american television david letterman is now headed for cbs cbs had lured him over with a salary more than four times that of leno and given him what he really wanted, the 11.30 time slot. Now, as Dave and Jay prepare to go head-to-head, -head, one thing is clear. 
late night TV will never be quite the same. All of a sudden, there's a talk show war. Start up your remote controls. The late night race is about to begin. On Monday, David Letterman's new show debuts here on CBS, followed a week later by Chevy Chase on Fox, and a week after that by Conan O'Brien on NBC. These combatants join The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Arsenio, and Night Lunch. It became a crowded space, and the competition became that much more difficult. In the third corner, his ratings fading rapidly, Arsenio Hall. Some TV writers think that Arsenio could be the big loser in this free-for-all. When Letterman came in, it essentially diluted Arsenio's brand because there were so many alternatives. I'm sad to see you go because America is going to have a big chunk missing out of its... <laughs> Losing Arsenio... Yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. He was the lone voice. Gone. David Letterman had the suits at NBC pausing for a moment. Did we make the right choice? Because he came out gangbusters and he was beating Jay Leno in the ratings. There's some people who say you blew it, that uh, by picking Leno to replace Carson over Letterman, that that was a big programming mistake. It was a shaky start. A really, really shaky first season start. Well, it's true confessions time for actor Hugh Grant, who's trying hard to put his recent encounter with a Hollywood prostitute behind him. When Hugh Grant was arrested, it was big live action news. And Hugh Grant was supposed to do the Tonight Show that night. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> it all came together in that moment, and everyone saw it, and that's it. We were Never number two again. For us, it was the fun experience. Hey, we got our own theater. We got an unlimited budget. We've got access to every star in the business who wants to do the show. Somebody bring me the jaws of life! So, I think going to CBS was heaven sent. It really was. Good night, everybody!